My name is Christine Schiltz. I am an associate professor in psychology at the University of Luxembourg, where I work in the EMAX unit. EMAX stands for Educational Measurement and Applied Cognitive Science. And in this unit, I'm part of a network called LEARN, meaning Learning and Expertise Research Network. Our basic goal in the LEARN network is to understand how children learn and what goes wrong when children have learning difficulties. The, the research we are doing at the LEARN Network is unique and innovative because we are using both behavioral and brain research methods to understand how learning processes work and how learning difficulties arise. And a second point that is really giving us a unique additional dimension is the fact that we are based here in Luxembourg, which is a multilingual country. So this is creating like a natural laboratory situation where we can understand how learning processes go on in a multilingual context. LEARN is for the moment composed here at the University of seven researchers. We have uh, two professors, four uh, persons that have a PhD and one uh, finishing her PhD. Um, so these persons, they are all leading uh, or participating in research projects which are also directly um, interacting with bachelor or master students uh, in the context of their um, Bachelor of Math Thesis. My name is Daniel Hoffmann. I'm a PhD student at the EMAX unit at the University of Luxembourg. And I'm working on a big project called NumSpace, which uh, investigates the relationship between numerical and spatial representations. And for this, we do uh, a range of uh, tests. One of them uh, using the EEG technology, which is the electroencephalogram. And there we put electrodes on the heads of the participants. This allows us to uh, record their brain waves when they get shown simple stimuli. During these tests, the people, they get shown on a computer screen, single digits, and they have to judge, for example, if they are smaller or larger than five, or if they are red or green. During this, we can perhaps see if there are differences between people that have difficulties in, uh, with numbers or people that don't have any difficulties with numbers. Then we also do some behavioral testing where they also do a task on the computer screen and then we record their accuracy scores and their reaction times. This basically has the same aim than the electroencephalography. And then, additionally to this, we also do some cognitive measures, like for example, arithmetic measures, where the participants, they have to do some simple arithmetic problems, like additions or subtractions. And then also they do some working memory measures or attentional measures. The LEARN network is very interesting because we are not only um, a group of researchers here at the university, but the very um, core of, of the idea of the LEARN network is that we interact with institutions outside of the university here in Luxembourg that are dealing with learning difficulties and learning processes. So together, I think um, we will be hopefully able uh, in the mid to yeah, near to mid future to, to really not only understand better how the learning process works, why certain uh, children or even adults have difficulties, but also help these children and adults. But for that, we really need the network. We cannot uh, do all of this in our research context here at the university.